I, I have a lot of hopes for the United Methodist Church, and I have a lot of hope going into the future. And I know we've been dealing with the pandemic. Um, we're dealing with some struggles right now uh, with you know people wanting to, to, to split from the church, but I've got a lot of hope. I believe that there is revival in the air for the United Methodist Church. And uh, I think that probably my biggest hope is comes from a Mark Miller song. There's a Mark Miller song, and he says this in these lyrics. He says, draw the circle wide. No one stands alone. We stand side by side. And I think that is my hope for the United Methodist Church in the future, is that we keep drawing that circle wide to, to let people in, to let them know that this is a place that you are welcome. That, that this is, the United Methodist Church is a place for you. I'm a, the pastor at First United Methodist Church in Henrietta, Texas. And uh, one thing that I noticed right when I got there, that there was not a lot of guys in worship. There was not a lot of men in worship. And I, I know a lot of them with, in agriculture, you know, they're working, they're doing their business. And so I was like, we need a space for men's ministry in this place. We're doing a great job with our, with our women's ministries and, uh, and women were coming to church and, and had all these discipleship programs, but there wasn't a lot for men. And so I went to this diner and I noticed all the men were there for breakfast. And so I said, well, okay, this maybe opens a door for men's ministry. And so I started working with four guys and we started eating breakfast at this diner and doing a Bible study there. And then the diner closed down. And so I was like, all right, this might open an opportunity to do to do some ministry. And so I invited all these guys over uh, for breakfast at our church. And so we started a men's ministry on Friday mornings. Uh, we have about 15 to 20 guys now that meet for breakfast uh, every single week. And uh, we're able to disciple. I, I teach them about Jesus. They teach me about agriculture and cows. And it seems to work out very, very well. What I love about the United Methodist Church are those words that you hear in the Book of Discipline, that people are of sacred worth. When I was a teenager, um, there was a pastor and she came up to me, and I was really on the struggle bus as a teenager. I'd lost my best friend. And uh, she came up to me and said, Aaron, I want to tell you something, that you are a person of sacred worth, that God is working actively in your life, that, that God loves you so much, and there's nothing that can separate the love that God has for you. And that meant the world to me. It really, really was the beginning of my ministry because I couldn't wait to tell people, hey, that you are of sacred worth. And I think that's one of the things the Methodist Church does best.